are you, what are the outcomes that you're looking for from tonight? The last two nights. We're just looking to educate, um, educate people on how marketing is changing and the role of technology in marketing. Um, there's a lot of different people uh, in the audience from students to uh, marketers themselves with brands, um, people in other industries um, who may not even be with, you know, we've done CPG companies, we've done entertainment industry, there's people here from telecommunications and um, just a, a variety of other spaces. And so it's just really interesting for people to start learning and really interacting with how um, how we're speaking with consumers, how we're interacting with consumers in marketing, and just how that how that's changing and how different platforms play a role. Um, content creation is huge. Um, how we're able to create the right content to speak to the audience, how we're able to integrate into what people are already doing with friends and family and be a part of that. We're going to do this again in Atlanta. Uh, we're going to try to do it in about maybe four to six months from now. We're going to have another summit here in Atlanta. So do we need to follow you or follow Big Follow Big Brand Week and we're going to start planning for it and we'll start sending communications out. Um, but yeah, I mean, we hope to continue to do this because technology is changing so fast and what we have out there today is going to change six months from now. There's going to be a whole new, you know, group of platforms Were available. Were you surprised to hear how even the big brands have some of the challenges as the personal brand people, but they look for analytics yeah. and they deal with customers more so than fans? Correct. Correct. Was that, was that surprising? Because uh, you always think of them having a bigger machine behind them. But yes. still brain power, right? But the issue is, the challenge is that because the platforms are ever changing, you, it's, it's impossible for large companies, I think, to keep up with that ever changing technology. A lot of traditional agencies that they're working with, again, they, they're not, they're, they're doing the traditional stuff and they're trying to break into the social but they're doing it in such a way they've got kind of that traditional mentality and so our company urban group we focus on emerging like that's our sweet spot and that's what we say differentiates us from other agencies out there we even struggle with calling ourselves an agency because we we don't want to be seen in that traditional light okay, okay. of oh we can do paid for you we can we do creative really well let us create your content you so ours is Consultancy. Awesome. Love it. It's what we try to what we try to go for. Okay. But I think it's just I think it is difficult for big brands to keep up with the um, the, the changing technologies out there. And is it because, a lot of is it because they need to plan so far ahead. And they, they have they, years out. they, they so plan. Yes. Oh, okay. uh, so how about to beyond creative? That's a good information. Hey, beyond creative. Oh, they get to comments from all across the screen. That's the edge that the personal brand has is that if the technology changes, the personal brand can change right along with it. But if the big brand has put a campaign that's a couple of years down the way for Instagram and then now we're on Periscope, they, do they have to go back to the drawing board or can they just flip to the new technology? They can adapt to new technology, but it's finding out about that technology early enough so that they can build in with budgets and they can, you know, have their budget planning. And, you know, legal PR comes into play. It's huge with big brands. And that's kind of, the, that can be the roadblock to a lot of campaigns launching on new platforms. When legal departments don't know what to expect, it's scary. It's, it's very high risk to them. And so... So you eat with your, a lot your company of company eases all of that. We, we try to. We try to. What we try to do is work with a kind of like a, a subset of the brand where they're really focused on innovation. So a lot of companies say, you know what, we're going to take ten percent of our budget and focus it on innovation. Um, and 
let's test program. Let's do some beta program. Let's put them into testing and let's see what they do. They're not all going to be successful. A lot of them are going to fail, but we're okay with that. We're okay taking those risks. And a lot of times we're able to do that with the support of legal and PR, but knowing that it's on a small scale, more local, they are willing to kind of, you know, turn their heads a little bit or give us a little bit more leniency so that we're not having to follow all the rules, you know, dot all the I's and cross all the T's to, to what we would normally do traditionally. So that's, and I'm always thinking from the personal brand side, it's like, that's where the edge comes in. Yep. Because they, they have to do so much planning. Go back behind the closed doors. They're planning, they're planning a year ahead, sort of thing. They've got to, they've got to present brand plans a year in advance to their executive so team. That's almost approval. disastrous if yes. technology changes. Yes. So hearing tonight from Turner and from Cox, hearing them say, you know, we're lucky in that we've got the support from our executive team for management to keep up with what's happening. Um, they've got, they can work with a lot of startups directly. They can work with uh, the emerging technologies. They're not pigeonholed to a certain agency of record that may be working with them. Those are the companies that are going to be more progressive and move ahead with different platforms and emerging technology. Did you expect to hear more questions and engagement from a startup perspective? Because I noticed in the question Q&A, we kind of had to bring it back to that. Yes. Um, you know, I think startups, there's a, there are a few startups in the audience. I think there's a lot of marketers in the audience who are working with companies already or maybe maybe don't have uh, the motivation or the drive to ever be their own startup. But I think um, from a startup perspective, I mean, that's that's our company, that's, you know, our brand is, a, is somewhat a startup. So we, we want to connect with startups. We, we, that is part of our goal is to understand all the, you know, new and emerging technologies, the innovations out there, and bring them to our clients. That's the value that we're bringing to them, is what's new out there, what's hot, what's the next Facebook, the next Twitter. Your company, um, once again, is Urban Group, with an I. Urban Group, with an I. We're going to follow now on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the... Yes, yes. So 